So I saw this crazy image on Facebook today that was basically saying, well, the world would be a better place if guns had as many safety warnings as cigarettes. And my immediate reaction to that is, what the fuck? Have you never seen a gun in your life? Um, or a pack of cigarettes? So I wanted to just fact check that stupid meme in a few minutes here because it's very simple to do. It's it's incredibly easy to grab a pack of cigarettes and a gun and compare. So let's do that. So here's a pack of smokes. As you can see, there's some warning labels on here. First, please don't litter. I actually like that one because smokers are notorious for littering and we really need to cut that out. But on the other side, there's a Surgeon General's warning. You know, smoking is unhealthy. And there's different different ones of these. There's like four or five different ones. And they are all just, you know, saying that smoking is unhealthy. And then the rest of the label, there's pretty much no warnings, right? There's a little warning about the law here. There's a tax stamp. And then there's nothing inside the pack and there's nothing on the cigarettes themselves so there's no warning there All right that differs from a gun greatly actually so if you look at this gun this is my beretta neos and i had it out because we we shot it yesterday and i was cleaning it but if you look at this gun huh there's a warning right there on the gun itself. There's two safety warnings here. One warning read manual before use. Then it also says retract slide to see if loaded. Reminds you that there's no loaded chamber indicator on this gun really. And then it also reminds you that it can fire without the magazine. There's no magazine disconnect. So we basically got two safety warnings here and a warning about the uh loaded state of the gun so we've got three warnings on the product itself and even if you want to count that as one warning we're still in a tie here with the cigarette box uh, and that's just when looking at the product itself so that's already better than the cigarettes isn't it it's got a safety warning on the actual product there's no warning on the actual cigarette, only on the package. So let's continue on. Now when you get a gun, a lot of people don't know that almost every gun ever made is going to come with a manual. And even if you get guns used, a lot of times you'll get the manual, the original manual. And in addition to that, manuals are always available from the manufacturers online these days. Very easy, and they were available by mail order historically. So it's always been possible to get your hands on the manual for your weapon, right? Now the first page. A lot of gun owners are going to be familiar with this, right? First page usually has a description of the firearm, and it may have a diagram pointing out the parts, and then you got like a table of contents here. Uh, most gun manuals are in multiple languages. This one happens to only be in English, but a lot of these are in like four languages. And But when you get to the contents of the manual, it starts in with the warnings. Okay? Never point a firearm at something that is not safe to shoot. Which, if you just follow that rule... Makes it impossible to have an accident with your gun. If it's never pointed in a, in a dangerous direction. <clears throat> always treat firearms as if they were loaded. So it doesn't matter how sure you are that it's unloaded. You still follow the other rule. You know, store firearms correctly so that children can't grab it. Talks about how to use the lock. Right? Oh, and it came with a lock. By the way, I have a safe, so I don't use this lock, but it came with that. Get that free from Beretta. Never shoot at water or a hard surface. 
That's a warning most people probably don't know if you're not a gun owner. Here's another warning. Know, know the safety features of the firearm. Remember, safety devices are not a substitute for safe handling. So your brain is the ultimate safety device. Properly maintain your firearms. Right? Use the correct ammunition. These are all safety warnings. Always wear protective glasses and earplugs when shooting. Obvious safety warning. Uh, never climb trees, fences, or obstructions with loaded firearms. This is something you learn in hunter safety courses. But it is right there in the manual. Avoid alcoholic beverages or judgment or reflex impairing medication when shooting. Smart. Another safety warning. Never transport loaded firearms. That's actually not very dangerous, but they're telling you anyway. And there's a lead warning in case you're lose, using ammo that has lead in it. And then you get into description of the firearm here and, you know, there'll be instructions on how to load it and unload it and stuff, but there'll be more safety warnings. Right? Safety warning here, here, you know, a little more safety information here. More safety warnings. Notice, 22 short and 22 long ammunition should not be used. Again, safety warnings. Specs on the gun. General operation, more safety warnings. Warning, warning, three of them there. Another one on that page. Another one on that page. No, whoa. A whole page of freaking warnings, right? Another whole page of warnings. I hope you get the point here. Right? It's pretty darn obvious that in spite of the gun being a well-known lethal tool, and everybody knows that, there's still a shitload more safety warnings here than cigarettes. So let's just throw away stupid memes that don't make any sense and are bald-faced lies, okay? Don't share that on Facebook. It's dumb. And if you're not a gun owner, share this video with your friends. Please. Because we need to get honesty back in the gun control debate. This has nothing to do with what side you're on. This is about honesty and a factual discussion. And we, we cannot be screwing up the debate with blatantly dishonest things like the idea that a pack of cigarettes has more warnings than a gun. That's stupid.